Hey there, Tall Man Clan, welcome back. Today we are with Brinkley. We are at the Florida RV Super Show. This is a brand new model for them. This is a Model Z 3400, really unique. Let's take a look. Um, now, since we're at the Super Show, it's hard to get all the way around. So we're just gonna show you here. They give us a good view. So unloaded your 13,698, gross vehicle weight 16,996. So let's just call it 17,000 pounds. All right, your hitch weight is 2391 and you're almost 39 feet and you can see the floor plan, but we're gonna go in and look. All right, uh, Brinkley is uh, innovative for a lot of things. One of the things that I do like, I like how their exterior look is. If we back up, you do have a couple awnings. They are in, obviously, because we're at the show. But I love how the windows tie in through the graphics. Isn't that neat? All right, so let's go on in. All right, look at this sucker. This is absolutely beautiful in here, okay? Oh, it sure is. You have your opposing slides, which is nice. Um, it almost has um, a toy hauler feel, and you might think it's a toy hauler, but wait till you see what's back there. Anyway, so when you first come in, you see you have your theater chairs here. They are part electric, part manual, so the recline is manual but you also have heat and massage and USB charging ports and all that kind of stuff. Very, very comfortable, right? To the left, you have a little love seat, right? Nice sconce lights and a little mirror. There's cabinetry above. Everything here is all solid wood. Nice across. One thing Brinkley is uh, famous for is having the do uh, dovetail. Dovetail construction on the drawers, but there's no drawers there. So we'll show you when we get to the drawers. Okay, over here, you've got uh, your 50 inch TV, which is on a televator, right? So if you're not watching TV and you wanna see out the window that's behind it, you just press a button and this would disappear, right? You do have a nice fireplace beneath there as well. And let's not forget the storage here, as well as up top, all right? Now, the dinette is also interesting because it's not traditional. It looks like, well, it can, it, this is like a transformer. It can be many things. First of all, if you need to use it as a desk uh, for an office, if you're still working, you can do that. As you see, there's a couple chairs here, but this also comes out and moves around a little bit so you can have more traditional seating, if you will. So very, very unique design here. Love the lights. You do have sort of day shades and night shades here. There's your day, there's your night, okay? But we also have a really pretty kitchen, Lisa. Yeah, we do. Look at this. This island is it's beautiful. It's a solid surface. We've got a nice single basin sink in there with a tall faucet. Um, over here, we actually have your built-in trash cans. I think those are 13-gallon trash cans. Yeah, they're, they're huge. pretty big. Right. Hidden place for your paper towels. Yes. Love that. And then underneath here, tons of storage. Right. Mm-hmm. And she was talking about the dovetail construction. This is where you can see it. So it's, these these are high end residential type built cabinetry. Right. All right. With the soft, soft close. close. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not soft closing Maybe so much today. today. I don't think so on the drawers. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Nice cabinets. All right. So we got residential appliances with our yes, three burner stove. We do. Look at that. Right. Nice big oven. Nice. Right. And then our Storage Furion oven. microwave up top. I'm going to come around you here, Lisa. Sorry. Sure. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Some more cabinetry here as well. Yeah. There's plenty of power. We haven't really talked about it, but the power is all up top, right? So your cords are going up, not laying around everywhere. I like that too. Okay. Huge nice. drawer there. Look at nice. all this cabinetry. Isn't that wonderful? Awesome. Then you got a nice food pantry here, which uh, with adjustable shelves, so you can adjust it for you know the type of shopping that you do for your food. And again, uh, a residential side by side refrigerator. And you got cabinets all up top. This is the tall man storage up here. This is where I hide my cookies. So this one doesn't eat them all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so remember I said you, from this view, you think it's a toy hauler. It is not. This is sort of an outdoor kitchen slash party area, right? So look, you got a couple cup holders out here for, you know, those beverages and uh, a couple places for some propane bottles, I would believe. But look at this kitchen out here as well. You got a TV, cabinetry, uh, fridge for all them beverages, right? Uh, trash can out here as well, the drawers. But this is a nice area. You got an awning, backup camera, so. Well, this is the nicest outdoor kitchen in an RV I've ever seen. Right? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Without a doubt. And you can't access this area from this door from the outside. I'm not sure what you do with the, the big ramp up in the back, but anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. Oh, you know what time it is. It's 
time for Thomas Toilet Test. If you're new to the channel and you didn't know, I am six foot four, so use my height as reference as I'm walking around. Also, thumbs up, subscribe, become part of the Tall Man Clan. It is free to you. It really does help out the channel, and we would sincerely appreciate it. As you can see, where I'm sitting on this toilet, there are no problems with this sucker. It is a porcelain. Um, I, I want to say, yeah, porcelain foot flush. I was trying to find the, the flusher, but it's kind of hidden back in there, all right? Um, very comfortable for so. Someone at my height, if you're tall or you're fluffy, this is going to be great. All right, nice uh, toilet paper holder already here and mounted for you. Got a couple hooks for your towels. And then if you turn around, beautiful sink area and uh, backlit mirror. The, the countertop is all solid surface under counter mount sink. Same dovetail construction and wood cabinetry all throughout which is nice and again this is just a mirror it's not a it's not a, a medicine cabinet so you're not going to be pulling excuse me pulling that out um i can see from my eyebrows down so i would have to duck a little bit to to do my hair if i had any and as you can see there's also a cabinet there for uh, all your linens and things and a little cubby behind the toilet so i think it's where we'd store the extra toilet paper yeah, probably you know that 24 pack since we're hoarding <laughs> <laughs> nice big shower lisa right so it's almost level to the floor so I get extra height in here. I, I'm not even in the skylight. It's perfect. Love it. So beautiful shower head, guys. Rain shower head. You got a wand as well as a couple of body sprays, a couple of shelves on up there as well as one down on the bottom. There's also one in the back. Um, if you haven't noticed, there's also sort of this texture um, to the shower as well and a light in here. And so you can see a lot of showers can get dark, but there's that's an LED strip right there. Okay. Awesome. So there's two accesses into the bathroom, one from the hallway where Lisa is backing out. And of course the master has its own access, private access. So as you do come into the bedroom, this is a king size bed. I don't have my tape measure today. I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure this is an RV king. So you get 80, but you're probably only 70 wide. All right. Um, no nightstands left and right, but they did put some shelves up top for the nightstands. There's USB charging ports up there so you can charge your devices. If you have CPAPs, there is power down at the bottom. I'm just lifting this up so you can see it a little bit better. So there is power for your CPAPs. Nice big storage underneath. It's also finished. So you're not going to be wearing, you know, particle board when you pull your stuff out. Okay. Across from the bed is a TV, little uh, seven drawer dresser down below with some hidden storage. Oops, I knocked over their, their pretty stuff here. Let's put that back up. And then the seven drawers. To my left is prep for washer and dryer, stackable or um, a, a one piece unit if you want, but I probably would go with stackable in there. All right. I think I would too. Absolutely. And next to this, you have uh, your, your closet. You got a lighted uh, um, bar there, hanging bar for all your clothes. There's a couple hidden shelves behind there, so when the clothes are hanging, you wouldn't see back there. There is power in there if you want to plug a, a vacuum cleaner in there. Very nice. So there you go, another brand new model for Brinkley. Let us know what you think of it. Leave a comment below um, and uh, let us know your, your thoughts. We appreciate you watching the video. Until we see you the next time, we're on the road again.